Hi, my name's Honey Badger, and I'm the in-game leader for Dignitas. Honey Badger is posting on up. Hello, guys. My name is Pedro. Most people know me as Sparkin. I'm a professional PUBG player for Dignitas. Sparkin just destroyed SSG. My name is Nolan. My in-game name is Shinbo, and I play uh, PUBG for Dignitas. And Dignitas just won't even let them move. Hi, uh, I'm Poonage, and I play for Dignitas. But oh, Poonage, Poonage. Yes. Last up, one up. Last, 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 Let's go! Let's go, guys! I think I first found PUBG through like a trailer that went viral on Twitter. I thought it looked like something I would enjoy. I didn't know like uh, the genre, I didn't know how it would play. But the game itself looked a lot like uh, Daisy, a game I came from. I was playing like CSGO, like uh, Brazilian face hits and that stuff. And I, 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 like, I was playing H1Z1 as well on that time. Uh, PUBG came out and uh, I tried to play the closest beta from PUBG, but like my PC sucks. So like I almost blow, my PC almost blowed up. It was really new. Uh, I'd played H1Z1 and a little bit of the, uh, the Arma 2 mod. It was honestly just a, a really fresh game and I was like actually hooked from the first game I played. Every single game you play was could be completely different. There could be a different amount of people alive. It could be ending on a different spot of the map. You could have, you could play five games in a row and have a different gun in every game. It was just, it was super fun. Just the amount of interchangeable, interchangeable variables was a uh, it was very exciting. The circle number one revealed itself on the east side, and would you have it, Dignitas are already mm. on a huge 1-1-1-1 one, 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 one split. What stands out to me most about PUBG is the replayability. I've put thousands of hours into it now, and every time I play it, I get into situations that I've yeah, never right, seen before. Some games uh, I just destroy people, and some games there's like three cars flying over me or something, so like the games are unique, like every game is special and different. What makes PUBG interesting to me is how much the game changes uh, and how dynamic it is. The way the, the map works, certain spots interact with each other, there's always more to learn and no two games are the same. Like the circle being 20 meters further west can change the entire game and it just makes it really fresh and I like that you can always be creative and make a new play that no one's made before. Anytime viewers watch a game, they can expect a different outcome depending on, you know, the different situations and circumstances that occur. The least static esport that I've ever seen. I literally didn't never stop playing since there. Like, literally like four years straight, unstoppable. Like, uh, I just love the game and I think uh, I only stop when I, I, I have no option to play, but if I can play, I play every day. Just love this game. It's just my life. Now it's Dignitas' turn to get back into the spotlight. 15 kills. Joining Dignitas was uh, awesome. Um, the, the staff are great. The org has been fantastic to us. What's so cool when I join? It's like to join Real Madrid from eSports, you know, or something. When we finally signed the contract, it felt like all of the hard work had paid off. It was honestly one of the best feelings in my whole career. They want to get that recovery onto Honey Badger. Dig and Toss need to make quick action of this fight because you've got Young Kings in the area as well. Dig and Toss almost losing Shinboy as well, but they will clean up Systematica because they should be able to get that res, get back up to three strong. I think one of the biggest challenges we faced during Dig and Toss was learning each other's play styles and tendencies. Everyone on our team is from a different country, so <laughs> I'm, I'm from Canada, Poon's from Texas. Badger's from the UK and Sparking is from Brazil. <laughs> Sparking's first language is not English, so that's kind of been definitely been it's definitely been an adventure. This Dignitas though feeling a little bit more confident in their positioning, but it's gonna be a third party coming back behind that is Hello oh. Senpai gets a little bit of an angle to play into this as a lot of these solos now creeping in. We've all come from teams with really strong sort of personalities and identities. And meshing has been like one of our greatest strengths quite the team dynamic on any other team before. So I, th I think it's gonna be, I think it's gonna be super beneficial. We don't have a, a, a person who is like uh, bigger than someone, it's like everyone is equal. So everyone like can give you idea any moment, everyone can like be a GL any moment. So like makes me feel like great. You always have to be the star when they need, you know? I know that we all just believe in each other 100%. Oh, a honey badger. Dignitas in a pretty good spot to take this fight. 
Getting fourth at PCS4 for us was a really big deal for two reasons. One, it gave us good points uh, to qualify for the PGC. And secondly, I feel like we honestly, although everyone put in a lot of effort and we were trying really hard, we didn't play up to our standards. It allowed me to see the potential of the team and to really see where we could go throughout the year. We weren't necessarily upset because it was our first event as a team, um, but we were, we, were, we were definitely not aiming for fourth. Uh, I think it was kind of a m motivation to do better. We were having some problems in between PCS 4 and 5, like just ha like the way we wanted to approach certain games, our play style, like even sometimes where we wanted to drop. Is Poonage going to stop down, go for the reds on a Shinboy. Honey Badger going to pull back, just wants to make sure he gets that flush. Shinboy was out of meds. He saw Poonage throw first aid to him there. And so they're trying to recoup for this final fight coming in. We're looking to bring our all into PGC. We're not only excited to gain the experience of playing against international teams, but we're looking to prove that Dignitas is a really strong team on an international level. A simple format, basically you have to win one game to go to the finals. Honestly, I just, I really, really hope to, to just have another, hopefully, podium finish it. Right now, it's the only thing that matters is PGC and, and finishing as high as we can. Our hopes for representing Dignitas is to bring home as many trophies as possible. We want to become the best team we can, and although we haven't been together for long, hopefully we can grow in chemistry and really perform this year and next. Dignitas just won't even let them move. Silza now the last one up finally gets a knock on to him, but it's just going to be quickly retaliated. So and Dignitas with 16 kills as we're getting some high kill count victories.